Hi, my name is Holly Skipper, and today I'm going to be talking about the endangered species, also known as the Gorilla Barangay. These gorillas are also known as the Mountain Gorillas. I'm going to start off by talking about the build of the Mountain Gorilla. They do have long, muscular front arms and short, stubby back legs. The long muscular arms help them to climb mountains and, and trees. Um, they do have larger heads and the males tend to have sharp canine teeth. They also have a bluish to blackish gray coat as you can see in the picture. Some interesting characteristics about the mountain gorillas are that males are also known as the silverbacks due to the gray patch on their backs. So I will, I'm gonna flip back really quick just to show you the picture. You can see in this picture how the, there's like that whitish gray fur on their back. This usually means that they're dominant, the dominant male of the pack. Um, males also tend to carry a heavy odor when they're stressed or mad. <clears throat> so it actually is a very bad odor. Um, they can use their large hands to grab food and to climb trees. And the females do tend to be a lot smaller. Um, usually they can run about 100 pounds smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. Next I'm going to talk about the habitat. The geographic location is usually in the Virginia volcanoes, so they usually originate in somewhere with a lot of green grass. Um, forests or the meadows are also common. They tend to stay in a tropical terrestrial area, which is also another place that they originate in is Uganda. So the behavior diet for the gorilla is going to be Roots, leaves, bamboo, flowers, fruit, fungi, or other plants and vegetables. As you can see on the right, there is a picture of one eating a piece of bamboo, and they are omnivores. The predator for the mountain gorilla is the leopard. Humans are also a leading predator, and they are considered to be the biggest predator for the mountain gorillas. They hunt the gorillas for feeding, um, for clothes, for trophies, and they also eat them. So the gorillas actually eat crops as well, which is another reason why they are killed. A description of the species is going to kind of piggyback off of the build. So they are around four to six feet tall at standing height. They do range from about 300 to 485 pounds. And they have long muscular arms, short legs, massive heads, sharp canine teeth, and that silky coat. They do tend to have longer hair. Um, just to keep warm in the mountains as well. <clears throat> the reproduction rate is that females only produce about one offspring every eight years. Um, every four to five years they are able to reproduce, but around one offspring survives. And when they are born, they're actually around four to six pounds. Um, the young gorillas till they're around six years old are known to be reminded as children. So they do have human-like characteristics. Um, the average lifespan for the gorilla is 35 years. And here's just a species distribution map. So you can see where there's the yellow area. That's where the mountain gorillas are usually distributed. So the mountain gorillas are endangered for several reasons. Um, actually, every single gorilla species is considered endangered right now. 
Habitat destruction is a leading cause on why they are rapidly declining um, due to deforestation, commercial logging, building agricultural areas, buildings, um, destruction to national parks, climate change, illegal mining has caused a rapid decline in the species. Um, it was actually 2008 when they were moved from critically endangered to just endangered. Um, that is a good sign, but they could quickly go back to being critically endangered. So it's important that we make sure we take care of them and notice that there aren't that many of them left. Um, so speaking of how many are left, there's around 1,000 in total. Um, half of them do live in the forest and half of them tend to stay around Central Africa in the mountains. So there are several recovery plans that they're taking into action right now. Um, number one would be less human contact. So human contact is actually pretty good for the gorillas. Um, but it is important that people stay around six to seven feet back just because they can spread diseases to them just like humans can spread from human to human contact. Um, touching the gorilla should be prohibited. Um, no direct human contact. There's also the Mountain Gorilla Veterinary Project, which has donated to a lot of um, saving the gorillas from these diseases. Supporting local communities around the national parks is always important. Just keeping up donating to the national parks so they can keep it clean and healthy for these gorillas to stay. Um, educating others on gorillas is also very important because people like me actually didn't even know that they were as endangered as they are until I did some research on it. And the things to fix to fix the rapid decline in the population are easy fixes. It just takes a lot of people to notice and to be educated about it to take action. Another thing would definitely to be not to buy products made for them, like clothes and coats and stuff like that. And here are my citations and my photo ID. Thank you.